I'm sure you all have seen people trying to play chess against ChatGPT and complaining that it tries to make illegal moves or it outright cheats. The issue is that after a while it can't remember where the pieces on the board are, but as we saw in the previous video where we made a hangman plugin, we can give it a bit of help by adding in a plugin. So I've made a chess plugin. Let's see how ChatGPT performs against Stockfish. Let's play ChatGPT at chess. So I've got my chess plugin installed and let's start a new game. So let's play chess. We'll start off with him playing white and we'll ask it to give us his best game. So it's gone off to our chess plugin and it should have done new game. And our chess plugins returned the move history, which is currently blank, and the position of all the pieces. So let's see what move he makes. So he's going to start the game with e4. So I'm no good at chess, so I'm using Stockfish to play against ChatGPT. Slightly cheeky, as Stockfish is really good. So let's make the move e4, and we'll see what Stockfish recommends our response should be. So currently Stockfish is suggesting e6 as the best move. So let's make the move e6. And we're getting a bit of chat from ChatGPT. Let's see what you've got. Well, I'm playing with Stockfish, so I've got quite a lot. So he's going to play the move d4, which is the same as what Stockfish is suggesting. So let's make the move d4 and see how we should respond. Now, I would expect ChatGPT to play the opening of the game very well, as it should have memorized this from all the training data it's had. So let's see what Stockfish says. So Stockfish says d5. So we'll make that move d5. And let's see how ChatGPT continues the opening. So if it follows what Stockfish suggests, then it should move its knight to c3. So he's actually taken our pawn. So e x d5. So let's make that move in Stockfish and see how we should respond. So we should respond by taking the pawn back. So it looks like e x d5 is the move. So let's see what ChatGPT does next. So he's moved his knight out to f3, which is what Stockfish says is the correct move. And it looks like we should respond by mirroring what he's done by bringing our knight out to c6. So we'll do the same. So knight c6. Let's see what ChatGPT decides to do. So he's moving his bishop out, so bishop to d3. So let's make our move Stockfish. What shall we do? So it looks like we should move knight to b4, which will threaten his bishop. So let's make that move in Stockfish, and we'll make the same move in ChatGPT. So he's moving his bishop to e2. So let's move the bishop back. And we should respond to that by developing our bishop out to f5. So that seems to be the move that Stockfish has decided on. So bishop f5. And let's see what ChatGPT decides to do now. So he's moved his knight out to a3, which is what Stockfish recommends. So knight a3. And according to Stockfish, we should move our knight back to c6. So let's move knight c6. Now, interestingly, Stockfish is suggesting moving the knight back to b1 where it started. So let's see if ChatGPT does that move or if it's, something, if it's got something else up its sleeve. So it's decided to castle. So it's castling kingside. So according to Stockfish, we're now going to bring our bishop out and take the knight. So let's do that. B, X, A, 3. So ChatGPT has taken the bishop. So we just need to take the bishop using the pawn. So what's our move now, Stockfish? So Stockfish says we should develop our knight to F6. So let's do that. So knight F6. Uh, let's see what ChatGPT decides to do. According to Stockfish, he should move his rook to b1. So let's see what happens. Okay, so instead he moved the pawn to c4. So let's do the same. Uh, let's see what we should do, Stockfish. So it looks like we should castle kingside. Uh, let's see what ChatGPT does. Uh, according to Stockfish, black is now slightly better than white. So he's moved his pawn to c5. So he's trying to restrict the movement of our pieces. So let's see what we should do. So Stockfish says we should move our knight to e4. So let's do that. So n e4. Now let's see what ChatGPT decides to do in response to that. He should move his rook to e1. 
But let's see what happens. So he's developing his bishop. So bishop b2. So that's moving the bishop to there. So it's our move. So what should we do, stockfish? Move our rook to e1. So let's do that. So rook to e8. Rook e8. So let's see what chat GPT thinks next. So he's moved his rook to e1, which is what Stockfish was recommending. So in response, we should move our bishop to g4. But let's ask ChatGPT what its strategy is. So it says it's got a few key principles. So it started off trying to control the center by playing e4 and d4. Then it focused on developing its pieces. It castled to keep the king safe, and now it's trying to get space advantage by moving the c pawn to c5. And it's trying to coordinate its pieces. So it's played rook e1 to centralize the rooks. So it seems fairly reasonable. Um, let's see what happens. The game is still in the middle game phase, and he's going to continue to look for opportunities. So let's make the move that Stockfish recommends. So bishop to g4. Uh, let's see how chat GPT responds. He should move the pawn up to h3 to chase the bishop away. But let's see what happens. And that's exactly what he's done. So h3, which should chase our bishop away. And it also provides some space for the king to move out of the way if he gets checked. So according to Stockfish, we should just move our bishop up one corner uh, diagonally. So bishop h5. So let's see what ChatGPT decides to do. Um, according to Stockfish, should move the knight to d2. So let's see what he does. So he moves the knight to e5. So that's moving the knight up to here. Um, so let's see. Stockfish says we should take the knight. So I guess that's what we should do. Knight x e5. Now, according to Stockfish, we should take this bishop. Now, the bishop is completely undefended, so that does seem like a good move to me. So, let's see what he does. So, I captured your knight. So, actually, he took the knight. Interesting. So, let's do the same. And yeah, let's see. Now, we're going to take the bishop. So, interesting move. So, bx e2. So let's see how ChatGPT responds. It seems from Stockfish that he should take the bishop using the queen. So let's see what happens. So he uses his rook. So let's take the bishop using the rook. Now, according to Stockfish, we should take this pawn using our knight. So knight x c5. So let's see what ChatGPT does now. So rook c1, so centralizing his rooks and putting pressure on our knight. So that does seem to have worked as our knight has been chased away up to e6. So let's make that move, knight e6. So taking our, our knight somewhere safe. So let's see what chat GPT should do next. If we look at stockfish, he should move his rook to d2, um, but he's moving his queen to d2. So let's see what happens there. So queen d2. So our move should be to bring our queen out. So queen to h4. So queen h4. So let's see how chat GPT responds to that. Now according to this number, I think that means black's winning quite easily against white. Um, so we should beat chat GPT quite easily. So he's moving his rook to e3. So he's trying to protect this pawn here. I'm not entirely sure why, but let's see what happens. So according to Stockfish, we should move this pawn forward to d4, threatening the rook. So let's try that. So d4. So let's see what ChatGPT does now. So he's moved his rook to e4. He says he's threatening the queen, but the queen can just take the rook because the rook is completely undefended. So let's take the rook. So queen x, e4. Now, I think ChatGPT is probably losing quite badly now. We're hemorrhaging pieces and Stockfish really is outplaying it completely. So he's made a slight mistake as well. So he's moved Queen X D4, but he thinks he's captured our Queen when actually he's just captured a pawn. He's lost track of where the pieces are on the board. So I think we're about to lose our Queen as well now. So yes, so Stockfish is recommending take the Queen using the Knight. So Knight X D4. So as I kind of suspected at the start, it's quite easy for ChatGPT to play the opening game where it has a whole bunch of openings memorized in its training data. But the mid game, it does seem to struggle with, particularly with knowing where pieces actually are and keeping track of them. So it's possible that we can help in the plugin to remind it where pieces are, but we need to work out exactly how to represent that in a way that ChatGPT can understand. So it's taking our knight with the bishop and it's about to lose the bishop. So queen x d4. 
So I think at this point, most people would probably resign because there's not a lot left really for ChatGPT to do. So let's make our move. Rook E C8. Sorry, Rook A C8. And let's see how ChatGPT ends the game. Um, we're not far off from checkmate. So Rook C1, check. We move the king to h2 to escape check, but now it's checkmate basically. We'll make our move queen to f4, and that's check. So we block the check with the pawn, and our next move is checkmate. So queen x f2, checkmate. Black wins. Game over for chat GPT. So as I say, it did very well at the start. The mid game was slightly suspect, and it sort of fell apart when it lost track of where the pieces were. But as I say, Stockfish is an incredibly strong engine, so it's not surprising that it can beat ChatGPT. Let's ask ChatGPT where it all went wrong. So where did it all go wrong, ChatGPT? It says it has no feelings, but I think it's smarting right now. So move seven, let's go back in time to move seven and see where it started to go wrong. So NA3. This move developed the knight to the edge of the board where it was less effective. So yeah, so knight a3 is pretty much useless here. It can't do very much. And then move 11. Let's see what it says about that. So move 11. So c5. It gained space on the queen side, but it weakened the d5 square and allowed black to pay knight to e4. Let's see if that makes any sense. Mm, I'm not sure that makes any sense, but I'm no chess expert. Where else does it think it went wrong? So move 20. So move 20, rook e3. It was intended to defend the kingside pawns, but it allowed black to play 20, d4, gaining central space and pushing the rook back. So yeah, so we moved rook to e3, and that allowed him to move his pawn forward, threatening the rook. And then the last move, move 27. So it blocked the check from black's queen, but created a fatal weakness on f2. So that was pretty much it. So let's load this into lie chess and see where it went wrong with lie chess. Okay, so we can step through each move on lie chess, and we can see from this bar who's winning at the time. So we start off, and we're fairly evenly matched. And it's the French defence, so black is playing the French defence. So it's still playing the French defence. We've got the exchange variation. So we're still going, and we're still pretty evenly matched. So now we bring out the... French defence exchange variation. So we brought out the kingside knight into a standard position. So, and then black brings his knight out. And then we bring out the bishop. And we're still evenly matched. So let's see, we're still matched, still matched, still matched, still matched, still matched. So now we get a slight advantage towards black. So this move here, was obviously the first mistake that ChatGPT made. Castling kingside makes no difference. So yeah, so I think ChatGPT identifying the move of c5 was really the bit where it started to go really wrong for white. So we can see it, it dips down immediately after that move. Um, we stay fairly stable. And now when we lose our knight, that really is quite bad for white. And now we're losing, white's losing very badly. It's pretty much going to be game over very soon. And now white's got no chance. So Stockfish has completely wiped out ChatGPT. But as I say, no surprise, ChatGPT really isn't supposed to be able to play chess. Not a surprise there, but pretty interesting. I think ChatGPT playing against me it would wipe the floor with me, because I am pretty bad at chess. So, it lost quite badly against Stockfish, but that's no surprise. I think there's a lot of promise here. I'm going to try out GPT-4 and see how well that performs, and I think we can improve the plugin to help ChatGPT remember where the pieces are. It's pretty exciting, so stay tuned.